What is up everyone and welcome back with another video of new tweaks for iOS 13 up to iOS 13.5. And now let's jump right into it, starting first with a tweak known as the 11 Pro. So this will give you the iPhone 11 uh, home gesture and home bar. You already know that, but with additional things like with the camera app. So it will give you some additional filters and uh, edit that you will see only on the Pro Max. Now on your older devices like the iPhone 7 and 8. Now to the next tweak, which you're going to notice on my home screen, there is the uh, widget for the weather, also widget for the clock at the top. So it's not limited for that only. You will also have uh, iOS 14 lookalike widget, but it's cluttered and I don't know, it's glitchy in my device, but uh, it was working fine. So. Uh, Viber will also not give you that. Uh, it will also have the app drawer like the iOS 14 that you see here. And it's kind of looking similar, but not a complete replica of the iOS 14. So this will also work inside any apps, the settings app or whatever app that you in. But the first time you installed uh, Viber, you're going to notice that the icon overlaying that uh, weather widget and the clock widget. So to fix that, you need Poxy 4. As you can notice, I swiped up on my home screen and now I will have the ability to change the icon layout to whatever uh, that I want. So as you can see, I set it in the center instead of overlaying that weather and the clock. So you will have these um, functionality. Also, you can expand or uh, decrease the spacing. Now, the next week is known as haptic buttons. As you can see, this will give you, uh, as the name suggests, haptic uh, feedback when you are changing your volume. And since we are on that volume thing, let's talk about the other tweak, which is known as volume lock. So to activate that, you have to press on the volume up, volume down, and both of the volume at the same time. So you will lock the volume. It comes in handy when you want to set a specific volume. So you don't have to uh, uh, play with the volume when you are like in the gym or whatever. Or if you want to set a specific volume, like you lower the volume and you want it to be on that specific volume for a long time. So you can unlock the volume with this tweak. Now jumping to the next week, which is known as floaty tab. So as you can see, it's going to put the uh, bottom toolbar or the uh, bottom tools, whatever, uh, at floating uh, icon or floating tab, you can say. Uh, as you can see, it's going to work with whatever app that you're going to choose with the tweak settings. So really cool in my opinion, works with different apps. It's going to give new looking UI for your iOS device. Now, the next tweak is known as tap tap app. So for this, you need uh, another tweak. Uh, to work known as the bundle ID which is an app you're gonna see here and you're gonna notice uh, you will have the different app to quick launch any app that you want so we chose the camera and we tap on that so it's copied now to the clipboard and we're gonna now uh, find the tweak in the settings it's called tap tap app so once we find it we're gonna copy the link or paste sorry the link that we just copied and now you will have the ability to just double tap on the status bar to launch any app that you chose. Really cool, really useful sometimes when you want to launch a specific app like the camera app from the status bar. Now the next tweak is known as Groove Tube. So this will work only for the YouTube app as the name suggests. Let me first close it and reopen it. You're going to look here. It's going to give it a new team, a red team, and also red lines all over the place. Really cool. And sometimes uh, you have to change the themes for the apps and make it colorful like you see here with this tweak. So Velvet will give you a new clean look for your notification. As you can notice on my lock screen, you're going to notice here the notification have different look. Also, the icon is now centered instead of being at the top and it has overall clean look. And now let's jump to the next new tweak, which is known as Penny. So this will work for the iMessaging app. And as you can see, there is the contact that I pinned and you will have the ability to pin any contact by just swiping on any contact and you can pin it like the iOS 14 feature. 
So really cool, you will have the contact that you pinned at the top. Now, last thing I wanna mention, which is the battery percentage for the battery icon that you see on the top. That's because of a tweak known as a battery percent 13. So this will give you the battery percentage inside a battery icon. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like and turn your notification for more like these. I hope you enjoyed. See you in